Welcome back ladies and gents to part 23 of the Grand Theft Auto 5 walkthrough. So we're going to be continuing from where we left off and this episode it seems that Michael is going back to his family so let's hope that that happens and he doesn't have to live in that big house all by himself anymore. So let's get straight into it lads. What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Oh, okay. Here they are. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time. Nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Uh, uh, shut up! Uh, uh. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Jimmy's gonna lock my car. to be at the tattoo parlor. Oh, I bet she's getting in a tramp stamp. Dirty girl. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. Tracy I'm so that sorry. wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think they're in here. Do you know how Let's go beat it up Lasso again. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the Angslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just not the tongue. I need. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Ow! Oh. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah. Ow. That was satisfying. Oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna 
think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Are, are we gonna match? It has to be the chest. Just relax, okay? <gasps> Please don't put a gang symbol on me. Oh, we're gonna do so much worse than that. Please don't tattoo a cock. <laughs> he knows what we're doing. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here too? Ah. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, too much. Oh, oh, ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? No, no, it's not. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on! No! Not quite. Uh, and Michael's done some dodgy stuff in his time. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian around the Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like wow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad end. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, <laughs> I was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like you using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough. Okay. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Alright, let's go see the therapist dude that we didn't see oh, since the very beginning of the game. Fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and
and the both of your children, you kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Absolutely not. She loves his money. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? Oh, you oh, don't wait. say that in front of your kids. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. What, did he give us two minutes or something? Great. I think we made some real progress there. And you can bet that cost a, oh, a couple uh, grand. Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> Squared. Of Christ. Take care now. This is how that guy makes his fortune. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? Ooh, four grand for that. We just sat in his office and ranted. Oh. The guy is straight up scammer. You know, there was a moment there. I thought, what? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or Christ, Dad's she's banged a lot of dudes. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the heavy bomb who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Well, let's hope Trevor Phillips isn't there then waiting for me with a gun in hand. <laughs> oh, Christ. You can bet that's probably what's happened. Oh, okay. Now we're Trevor Phillips. Oh, Christ. We've broken up after uh, a drunk oh. gun battle against some, what, uh, bikers, are they? Mm, I, I think they're bikers. Again. Yeah, they're bikers. Ooh, four versus one, and we survived, and we're even naked. You know, I think that deserves some props. Oh, let's go get this uh, guy some uh, clothes. I don't like seeing his ass. It's a tiny bit flat in it. Haha. <laughs> Maybe I parked at the wrong place. Ah, balls. I think I did. Okay, that's not good. Alright, let's deal with these two. Okay, that dude. You're an idiot, you know that? Oh, straight in the face. And there's no one to call the police here. Alright, so we need to now figure out how on earth to get off of this area. Go back into the ocean. We'll just go keep going across the shoreline. 
So what's even the mission that we're supposed to be doing with Trevor anyway? Now, there's nothing that shows apart from uh, strangers and freaks. Oh, he runs really weirdly. He belongs in a circus, doesn't he? <laughs> Right, here we go. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, uh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. So lads, this is a tip for you. When you run out of stamina, if you jump, you go faster. Well, not quite as fast as running, but you don't lose stamina. So that's a good thing. So I need to figure out, though, what the next mission that we're doing is with Trevor. Because it it automatically actually put us as Trevor when we just finished the mission with Michael. So surely it's, there's something that we have to do with Trevor. Didn't they want us at the FIB lot uh, for the Lecter mission? No, not Lecter, sorry, Lester mission. I could have swore that happened. Or maybe they literally just wanted us to get him back to Los Santos or something like that. Christ, we really spawned a long way away, didn't we, lads? But to be fair, since I'm running the entire way, this is really good for his cardio. So I think this guy's on like 40 and Franklin's on about 80. Ooh, there's bunny rabbits. Should we jack the cop car? That could be interesting, lads. So I don't think we're going to find any sports cars around here. Ooh, good. Let's track this vehicle. Let's see if our stamina's gone up at all. Oh, wow. It barely went up. It's barely past 40. Let's go! Quick! Oh. Oh. Alright, let's see. What are we doing? Okay, nothing apparently, but let's at least get Trevor home so we can change out of... Well, change! Because he's literally wearing nothing. Damn! <laughs> that poor guy tried to get his vehicle back, but we just drove off. And I think he's still chasing us. It's for moments like these that you need a piece in the glove box. You can just pull it out and pop the guy and that's Jack in your ride. I'm, I'm kidding. Don't do that, lads. Please don't go shooting people. Also, I'm not even American, so we don't even have guns in my country. We have to like call Michael or Franklin or something like that. Well, I'll be fine. Let's see what your boy Franklin. Oh no, I don't want to hate on Franklin. No. Right. Well, let's get changed and then we will change to Franklin. I think, unless a mission pops up. We've really managed to come a long way though, considering when we changed to Trevor, he was a, he was among four dead bodies on a little deserted island area just off the coast. For fuck's sakes! What, have I busted this car? Okay, yeah, I'll bust that wheel. Okay, let's just run the rest of the way here. The rest of the way there. Because it'll take longer, I think. There's our lovely little red truck. Oi, I'm your manager. I pay your rent. 
I need fucking some pigs hanging around my crib every you day and shit. I hear you, homie. I don't even know what the fuck they look at. Cousin Floyd says strip clubs objectify women, but you ain't object. They're people. See, Wade knows how it is. Okay, let's change into the suit that we bought him. Oh, so we can also use the Ludendorff one that he used in... Uh, where was it? Where was it? Um, ooh, nice, a black suit. Yeah, the one that we used in Ludendorff in Canada when we were dr digging up the body. Sweet. We look big swag now. Like, this is what a nightclub owner should look like. Well, a strip club owner. Like, all suave and stuff. I lost count of how many boobies I've seen. Well, Wade is enjoying himself. Alright, let's switch to Franklin. Let's see what Franklin's up to. He's not even far away at all. I wonder if there's maybe any more Leicester ones. Oh, okay. Don't fuck it up. Alright. Okay, so it seems we needed to change to Franklin then. Interesting, interesting. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Is this the place that we had to go to assassinate that mafia boss which turned um, the CAO of a construction company? I think it could be. Or maybe there's just different construction sites across the city, which is actually fairly probable, I think. Actually, no, I think this is the exact same one. Like, that's the place that Anything we had to go we up the list. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The I just look at ends this, though. Like, imagine on the east side. how uh, incredible no of a feat it is to be it's building a we'll be literally skyscrapers. Like, humans contract. are incredible. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Like, I think in Dubai, there's a tower that literally goes above the clouds. I mean, I don't know if that's for sure. I've not actually confirmed that, but it's literally just rumour and hearsay. But, you know, that's actually incredible, thinking about it. and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, them lovely blueprints for the big ass skyscraper. Just two shots to be safe, don't worry lads. It's a shame that we don't have the parachute, otherwise we could have literally just walked off the side and parachuted down. So I, I do think that we've got a text saying that the parachute is now available at the gun store. So that might be something worth actually buying. Alright, let's get back to our car. What the hell do you expect? Are you serious? Alright, let's get to the garment factory then.
We literally just sped past the police car and they don't chase us. The traffic laws in this game are pretty nice. At least we'll park responsibly. So this is a pretty long game. I think we're already on like part ah, 23. Crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you could torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. <laughs> The Haynes one. has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? So I think actually parachuting in could be an incredible play. Uh, so of let's course. Go with that. Uh, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you. So I'm gonna choose Ricky because his his car is four percent after we did the jewelry store job. And his actual skills are pretty high now. Ricky, I know he didn't do so good at the jewelry store, but he's probably gotten better, and he's still the same price. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Okay, so their skills aren't too bad, but Kareem, his vehicle choice is pretty pathetic. But let's go. Kareem. Mm. I know Frank didn't dig his driving after the jewelers, but he's probably learned something. And his rate's still the same. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. That is okay. true. Alright, let's go do the next Solomon mission. That could be interesting. So we'll do the Solomon mission, and then in the next episode, we'll be doing the FIB heist, I think, if the mission is there in time. So I've...
I don't think their two children will ever get gainfully employed. Oh, sweet. Okay, so the FIV heist is there. Awesome, awesome. So we'll do Solomon's mission, then we'll do the heist in the next episode. This is going to be incredible, I think. Hello, Tracy. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Okay. Oh, so far away from us. Right back where we came from. Okay. Well, I guess we have no choice but to help our family. So it seems that some guy is stalking Tracy for whatever reason. Don't know why, she's a bit... Mm. Well, not the person most people would choose to stalk, I think. Well, there is all kinds of creeps out there. Why does Tracy have a car when she's not got a job? Let's go find him. It's the same with Jimmy. He he bought himself and it really I expensive him the car. Corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Now you better not be taking out credit like your brother. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on Fame or Shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! How you like that? Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. You should have told me you were in one of those moves. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need help. I'm the victim. No, you're not a victim. You're a stalker, you freak. I'm trying not to kill this Don't guy. Don't kill but... me for loving her. That ain't love. It's the internet. You're a cyber creep. You're right. You're right. I'm getting help. Don't kill me. Oh my God. Don't worry. I won't kill you. You just slow down so I can hit you, you damn bastard. Run, you little bastard. All the way out of town! I'll leave the state! I promise! I'm going to Thailand! Hiya! I mean rehab! <laughs> She'll never see me again! No one will! It's a bit hard to catch this guy without shooting him. Oh, I should have rang up my taser! Please! I'm an addict! <laughs> Ugh. 
dirty stalker. Now I've got to run so far back to Tracy's car. Ugh, I should have got out the stun gun from the very get-go. I completely forgot about it, I'm not going to lie. Oof, yes, yeah, all the way back there. Well, at least it's good exercise for, for the fat man. I killed someone for that car. I mean, I doubt we'll ever actually reach 100 out of 100 stamina on any of the character, apart from maybe Franklin, if it comes to it. Your car is the shit. So hot. Oh, you can see all the bullet holes in his car. Oh my god, you killed him! You killed him! You no, just didn't. killed him! I, him I can't out. believe it! What? What's she on about? I specifically didn't kill him. I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. He eh, never whatever. should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be leaving this episode here. So in the next episode, I think we'll be doing the Solomon mission and then the FIB heist. If you'd like me to keep smashing out more content, you know what to do. Just leave a like and subscribe. Peace!